Hello, this is Maker J101, and this is my power supply that is normally right, um, right here, and it seems to have failed for some reason when I was using my high voltage um, flyback transformer. For some reason, it just stopped working. I'm not sure why, but I, I don't know. The circuit board, I mean, there's no busted capacitors or anything like that in here. It seems perfectly fine. But it just, when I turn it on, it quit working. I don't, I don't know. So, yeah, all it does when you um, switch it on, when you do this, you got to be very careful um, when it's open like this because this um, heat sink here has about 150 volts DC connected to it, and that's that's not safe. I don't like, I don't like, I don't know why they um, do that in these power supplies, but that's not safe. I don't like it. But these. These two wires here are the um, the power wires, the wires that turn it on that normally go to the switch, but I disconnected them because I wasn't sure if my switch might be bad. But I have my voltmeter connected up to the 12 volts here, and you can see when I touch them together, I only get 3 volts, and then it drops down instantly. So I don't know what the problem is there. It just seems, I don't know. So I'm going to replace it <clears throat> with this power supply here. This power supply I already replaced this capacitor and that capacitor. They were both bulged on top. So I gotta cut these wires that I don't need off and then yeah, drill holes in this case for it and install the uh, take this off this one and install a switch and LED and that'll be pretty much it. Okay so I've drilled the holes in here this is the LED hole, that's the switch hole, and these are the holes for the um, back on here for the wires to go through. And then I've got a hole here and a hole there for the um, uh, bolts to hold it on. Okay, and here's the power supply. I've thinned out some of the wires there. And i um, got an LED hooked up and a switch. So if you turn on the switch, The LED turns on and the fan starts spinning. And as you can see, even this newer power supply still has um, 168 volts connected to that heat sink. So that's going from the heat sink to ground. That's not good. I don't like that. But I don't know why they would do that. But it seems kind of stupid to me. Okay, so I've got all of these. Um, Wires soldered on here, and I've got this, the uh, that part attached, and the LEDs and the switch are both installed, and it's all wired up. And I'll probably test it next, just to make sure it works and make sure I hooked it all up right. And right now there should be, yep. So there's five volts there. Now when we switch it on, there should be negative twelve there, twelve here. 5 here and 3.3 .3 there. So it works. Okay, one thing, one more thing I want to mention is that normally, or if you want to make a power supply, normally the um, the wire that turns it on and off is either green or gray, or usually it's an odd color that is not like, yeah, usually an odd color. And it's usually marked on the PCB. Um, so, like this one, it's marked. Um, P S O N, and that's probably like power supply on. That's what it stands for. This one's from um, marked remote, and that's a gray wire. And then I've got another one that is marked um, control. But usually you just um, connect that to ground to turn on the power supply. Okay, so I've got it all attached up. I've got a little screw and an L bracket on each side, and over here too. And I've tested it out and I'm very happy with it. it. Seems to work very good. The fan works and everything. And I've still got. I'll probably just stuff these inside there, so that I, unless I need them. But yeah. Thanks for watching.